Hello traders, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. Taking a look here at the scans now at the individual stocks to see what they might have in store for us for the upcoming session. That's going to be Tuesday, March 12th, 2013. We had a reasonably strong session today. We had a gap down that was recovered. And at the end of the day, we we're left with uh, you know fairly positive price action overall. You can see from the scans here, we've got mostly uh, mostly upside continuation signals. Just one one sell signal here in uh, in Wynn Resorts, but um, mostly upside indications. And we do have uh, a couple of volume bursts, a good volume in Adobe, over here in EA, and also saw very good volume in BlackBerry, with a pretty good pretty fancy close here, 13 percent above the open. So that's a very very strong mover. On to the financials. The financials were uh, kind of lackadaisical early, and then they came on very very strong. Uh, had a nice long call today in Citigroup that worked uh, for about a point uh, as an intraday scalp. That was up on uh, very, very good volume today. A uh, couple of, in of indications uh, from the sell side here, poking up Visa and Wells Fargo. Uh, a lot of these uh, stocks are kind of into the into the eighth or ninth inning here where they're starting to really pick up velocity to the upside here. You can see Citigroup closed uh, more than 1.5% above the opening. Um, some of these other secondary and tertiary names are starting to come on too. Sally Mae was strong again, and also MetLife that we were uh, talking about last week. So keep an eye on these uh, next week, um, next couple of sessions here. They're definitely uh, still positive, but but uh, starting to get get a little bit extended here and getting very very steep in the angle of ascent on the charts. As far as the uh, energies go, better to buy here. Uh, PBR has got a buy signal, and so does Schlumberger. A lot of volume in Valero, VLO. Keep in mind we've got a uh, fresh seeker exhaustion 13 count in place. A sell signal there, 2.5% below the opening. Got a very, very key line of uh, support right around this area, so make sure you're aware of that for trade tomorrow. That's Valero, VLO. Moving on to the generals. Generals are not quite as good looking as the uh, NASDAQ patch. Pretty much paired off between buys and sells between the generals here. Best Buy, again, still in play here on volume, but today was a distribution day, closing below the VWAP and also below the VWAP. Keep an eye on that for a turn. That one's starting to get a bit extended. Housing stocks, not too many signals there. Got a buy signal in Toll Brothers TOL. It's a differential buy. Keep an eye on that. Got a buy signal here to the upside in CSX. That's the CPS signal. Had a really strong day, 1.5% above the open. You do want to see the... Uh, Transportations and the housing stocks start to come on here a little bit stronger if the uh, banks do start to falter. We need some place for that leadership to uh, rotate to. As far as the commodities go, very, very kind of a mixed bag here. We got some sells and got some buys. This silver wheat and SLW as a CPS downside signal on pretty good volume and also 2% below the uh, days open, so keep an eye on that. Mosaic. Differential sell signal on volume be another one that I'm going to be tracking for trade tomorrow. So that's going to be it for this evening. Uh, this has been Rich Derrick, and as always, thanks for listening. I hope to see you again soon.